Okay, now that we have killed the Black Knight and we have his shield, for some reason, I'm still baffled as we have that, we are going to go proceed on and fight the first boss outside the asylum. Now, in order to fight him, we need to actually clear through all this crap again. Hey! What do you think you're doing? With your crossbow, you think you're a badass? Think you're amazing? What the hell? Did you see that, <laughs> that undead on the corner of my screen? Did he just jump off the side? Oh no, he's still there. Okay. That was weird. You're a weirdo. Weird, Mr. Weird. Huh, okay. Oddness. Weirdness. Let's get across this bridge and pull these guys again. Oh, we got this guy first. Oh, we got more than one of them. Okay, this might get a little garbage. Mm. 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 There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Eh. Get your battle axe out of here! Dick. Okay. Back across this bridge. Back to this guy. Mr. Coming at us with the jump attack, all clever and crazy. Oop. Make sure we loot everything. If I could get lucky, I might get a random soul. And we're gonna head up here. Ooh. Pull little, literally everything completely unlike I wanted to do. But we have the stamina to just chew through all this stuff for some reason. Oh god! Where'd you come from? I didn't see you get behind me. I'm glad my lock-on flipped around super quick so I could avoid getting butt-handed to me. And as we did last time, let's go and take care of this fellow. I suppose you could call the gameplay in this uh, slightly repetitive if, if you end up dying a lot. But if it gets to a point later where I start dying a lot on the same mobs over and over and over again, I will be sure to cut forward because no one wants to see that. No one wants to see you fight the same shit repeatedly. It's boring. It turns into Pokemon. I don't see how people do Pokemon Let's Plays. It's like you just end up fighting the same battles, the same way, repeatedly, over and over and again. Eh, okay. Let's get rid of this guy. Whack, whack, whack. Just like that. And head up the stairs. Paying very... Oh, trap ahead! Thank you, Mr. Dude, for telling me there was a trap ahead. Now I know to avoid what is apparently a rolling fire barrel! Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. You didn't get me with that, sir. Nope. Funny enough, that's the only ha time you have to deal with a trap, is the first run through. After that, it despawns. The only things that respawn after you touch a bonfire are undead. Good luck. And see this door here. We can master key it, and we can go through this door, but we will not do that immediately, as there is a tough enemy down there. Very tough enemy, but one of my favorite enemies in the game, actually. Very, very, very cool enemy that would kick our asses in our current state. We need to get something before we go fight him. Alright, let's continue up these little stairs here. Let's go over these barrels. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Hey, no. You bleed. Oh, oh my god, no, 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 don't run away, don't run away. Huh? Huh? Uh, son of a bitch! Oh god, oh god, don't, don't run, don't run, don't, don't, no, little bastard! What the hell? I hit it! Oh god, okay, thank god. <sighs> Thought he got away from me for a second. Those little lizards have twinkling titanite in them. They try to run away from you, but you need to hunt them down and beat the shit out of them. Twinkling titanite is good. Let's you upgrade your best weapons. I need them to upgrade my... Super awesome sword I want to get later. Traverse the white light? Yes. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright. First thing we need to do upon getting up here is climb this here ladder. 
And we're going to run into a couple of undeadies at the top of this. And kill them like this. Oh, oh, oh. Eh. That guy was going for his Estus Flask, and I was like, hell no. We get a good scenic beware of beating to a pulp. We get a good, some good scenery here. Way over there, the uh, Undead Church, I believe. Where our destination is. But for now, we are going to proceed across the bridge. But it was very important that we clear those two enemies, as we will be using that area shortly for things and stuff. First of all, I think I'm actually going to take a hit because I'd want to be at full health before I go across this bridge. Because as we're going across this bridge, I'm not sure if you can see it up there just yet. Oh, here he comes! Run away from the Taurus demon! He's going to kick our ass. We need to run up this ladder as he's coming up behind us. He wants our butt. Unfortunately for him, I have plunging attack, bitch. And we are going to target him and maneuver around like so. And as he roars, dodge carefully and run up the ladder again. This is the cheap way to kill the Taurus demon, but also the most reliable. Hey, buddy! In your face! Uh, and down, and round, and... Ooh, shit. He hit me in the butt. That was a butt hit. Okay. Let's go for another plunging attack! Boom! And then, once we're on the ground, we should be able to finish off with a couple well-placed hits. Yes! Victory achieved. Or victory achieved, as most people would say. How dare you kill the Taurus demon by jumping on his head three times, you dick. Well, I say to you, whatever, whatever, I'll do what I want. Now we got a lot of souls. We have a fair amount of souls. Actually, you know, this is probably a dumb time to use this, but I'm gonna go and equip this ring out. I forgot to get the other thing. We need to go back and get that. I completely forgot to get that item. Oh my god, I went through all the trouble of killing the Black Knight, and I totally forgot to go get the thing he was guarding. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, I'm glad I remembered before I went too far away from him been the ultimate jackass. I don't even I'm not even going to do a jump cut because it's just right down here. But I almost did. I almost left it completely behind. We might have used it for the uh fight against the Taurus demon. Equipping the ring reminded me of it. The blue tearstone ring. The blue tearstone ring raises our defense while our HP is low. Also, I heard a noise. What was that? Okay, whatever. Um, we have a lot of souls on us right now. Is there anything down that way? I, mean, I didn't actually go that way. Explore around a little bit. Uh, yes, it appears there is a crap ton of death this way. Yeah, hmm, good. It's the point of time where I would put down a sign saying pointless if I were playing Dark Souls 2. Alright, let's go up here, take a right. And continue on our merry way. Bimble Bomble Wiggle Woggle. So our next objective is getting to the next bonfire. And I don't think we have another boss for a little bit. Most of our next annoyance or our next um, thing we need to do will involve actually acquiring a really good weapon which we will try to replace as early as possible kinda doesn't make sense I'm already thinking about replacing it before I get it before I get it um, it feels dirty in my hands I'll, I'll explain in greater detail shortly but before we go traverse the bridge um, and all those undead we are going to quickly 
run over here and speak to this man by the name of Soler.